Hello everyone. Uh, this uh, is a remake of uh, a previous one that I, I did, uh, I think back in June. Now what happened is I got a math problem show up on a banner ad. And the problem was, was this. We had the square root of x plus 15 uh, plus the square root of x equals 15. And it said find x. Now there's a couple of ways you could go about doing this. I went through uh, two of them in, uh, in my previous video. Now the first way is you could just brute force everything uh, and then solve for x. By brute force I mean you uh, just try and get rid of these square root signs and uh, eventually uh, come up with uh, solving for x. So I thought, okay, well that's easy enough. So how do we get rid of a square root? Well, we square things. Problem is, we have a sum of square roots here. So even when we square it the first time, we're going to be left with a term with a square root on it. Uh, but anyway, that's basically what we need to do. So I'm going to, I think I'm gonna use a different color here. Uh, assuming that it uh, works here. So the first thing we need to do is uh, we're going to have to square both sides now that's uh, that's easy enough right so we uh, we can work this out uh, when you uh, square this you're going to get uh, x plus 15 for, th for the first bit. So we'll have, uh, okay, yeah, that's an in frame. x plus 15. Uh, and we're, when we, we're, we're gonna end up having to multiply the root x and the root x plus 15 together and we're going to end up with two of them. Uh, if you know, you can check that by using the binomial theorem or the uh, or just foil it out, right? Uh, and then we're going to end up with the uh, square root of x squared, which is just going to be x, right? So plus x. I'll put that first, and then our square roots multiplied together. We're going to have two times that. Now when you multiply the two square roots together, you can actually just multiply the bits under the square root sign. So that gives us the square root of, and then we're, we've got x times x plus 15, so that's x squared plus 15x under the square root sign, and that's going to be equal to 225, because that's 15 squared, right? Uh, and we collect this together and we can subtract the 15 from both sides, so we end up with 2x plus 2 times the square root of x squared plus 15x equals 210. Now we've got a factor of 2 on, on uh, the left hand side here, so we can divide both sides by 2, so then we get uh, x plus the square root of x squared plus 15x, right? And that's going to be equal to 105. Uh, now, we still have a square root sign we need to get rid of, yes? So we need to, but we, we uh, need to have it on its own. So if we move this x to the other side, then we, we have the square root of x squared plus 15x equals 105 minus x. Now, when we square this, square both sides, we'll have no square root sign left. That'll give us x squared plus 
plus 15x on the left, and that's going to equal this 105x squared. Uh, now, uh, what is 100, 105 squared is 11,025. Uh, and then uh, we're going to okay, we're going to have to subtract because it's minus one x uh, two two times the the two coefficients here so that's two hundred and ten x and then we're going to add x squared now you'll notice here that x squared is at is on both sides so we can subtract x squared from both sides so that means that we get 15x equals 11,025 minus 210x right Now, if we add the 210x to both sides, we get 225x equals 11,025. Now, we just have to divide both sides by 225, and we get x equals 49. So that tells us that x is 49. Uh, so... Is this right? Well, if we put 49 in for x in our original equation, we get square root of 49 here for the root x, that's 7. We add 15 to 49, we get 64. The square root of 64 is 8. 8 plus 7 is 15. Uh, so that gives us a correct solution. Now, uh, you may uh, be sitting there twitching, wondering about, uh, well, what about the negative square roots? Uh, so uh, what if we had a negative uh, square root of x there? Well, that'd be minus 7, so you'd have 8 plus minus 7 would give you 1. And if you flipped it to the negative on the first one, you get minus 8 plus 7 is minus 1. And if they're both negative, you get minus 15. So there's only one solution to the uh, square roots there that will give you 15. Uh, and having gone through this, this uh, process here, you might be thinking, well, we squared it, so uh, we've added uh, possible solutions. But if you take a look, uh, we square it here, we just got numbers here, and we got linear terms and a square root sign over here. Uh, and then we... Uh, we uh, ended, did some algebra there, and then we squared it again. So we basically raised everything to the fourth power. So you think there should be four solutions coming out of this, right? Uh, but we didn't divide by x squared here. We subtracted it. So uh, I believe that uh, makes this uh, actually kosher. Uh, anyway, we get x equals 49 and we didn't get multiple solutions here. Uh, we had no divisions by x, which means that uh, we don't have a division by zero to worry about or anything like that. Anyway, x equals 49 is a valid solution to that equation. Uh, now, of course, this deals with some fairly large numbers along the way, so maybe there's, there's another way we can do this. Well, there actually is. Uh, the, uh, the thing to note here is we've got uh, two squares under here. x plus 15 is a square, and x is a square. because We're taking the square root of them, and we have to get a, uh, a whole number. But, uh, you know, but it doesn't matter. They don't necessarily have to be perfect squares, but they're squares and they differ by 15. 
is you got x plus 15 and x. You subtract x from x plus 15, you get 15. The difference between them is 15. So we know that, it's a, that we have two squares that differ by 15. So that, that means that uh, we, we have, uh, we, we can actually use that. Uh, and we also have, so we know two things. We know the square roots add to 15, and we have two squares that differ by 15. So what if we, we do let a uh, equal the square root of x plus 15 and b equal the square root of x? Okay. Now, uh, that means that we, we can rewrite this equation as a plus b equals 15, right? Now, uh, we have that difference of squares. We know these two squares, the bits under the, the radical signs differ by 15. Well, what's under the, the radical sign? Well, uh, we square a, we will, if we square both sides of a equals x plus 15, we get a squared equals x plus 15, yes? So, so that means we have a squared on the, uh, as the bigger number, b has to be the smaller number because we're adding 15 to x, unless x is negative. But anyway, we'll, we'll leave that for now. And we have, uh, same here, we square uh, both sides, we get b squared equals x, so that means x is the square. So the difference must be 15 because of that plus 15 there. Now, uh, we could, uh, we can uh, actually uh, do some work with this. Now, something that, that you might uh, recognize is the difference of squares can be factored. Uh, so if we factor this, that becomes a plus b times a minus b, and that's going to be equal to 15. But notice that we, we now have a plus b is equal to 15, so we know a plus b is 15. So that gives us 15 times a minus b equals 15. And we can divide this by, uh, uh, by 15, right? So that means a minus b is equal to 1, yes? Uh, and then that means that uh, a is equal to b plus 1, right? Now, uh, we can go ahead and fill in for in the a, a plus b equation. We now have, uh, is this still in front? Yes. We now have uh, b plus 1, that's a plus b equals 15, yes? And that gives us 2b plus 1 equals 15, which means 2b equals 14, which means b equals 7, right? Now, if we observe up here, uh, we set b equal to the square root of x. So that means 7 is the square root of x, right? So, so this uh, then means that uh, we have square root x equals 7. So if you square both sides, you get x equals 49. Now, you'll note that this 49 is the same as this 49 over here. So that gives us a pretty good uh, check that... Uh, uh, 49 is probably the right answer. Now, I'm not sure if uh, there are 
maybe some other uh, uh, solutions that will give you 15, but I, based on these two calculations, I'm pretty sure that this is, the, is a unique solution. Uh, now, of course, you could have just looked at this and went, well, let's, this looks small enough. Let's just substitute numbers in for x and see what we get. Uh, and you wouldn't take too long to come up on uh, x being 49. Um, you know, you, you could uh, do that. But then you'd be left wondering if maybe there's other solutions. And uh, you can see from both of these uh, methods here that there does seem to be only one unique solution. Um, I should uh, I should note here that you see here that we have root x equals seven. Uh, this doesn't actually give you any issues with the plus or minus business because we're squaring it after to find x. Uh, so it doesn't matter if x is. Uh, uh, you know, so it doesn't matter uh, here. Uh, we know that our square root is positive. So, uh, but even if the seven had been negative, it would still still give us x equals forty nine. But I don't see how you get a negative seven out of this. Now, uh, you might note that uh, if if you look at it carefully, uh, you'll see that uh, this could also work if uh, the constant here was minus fifteen, minus one or one, it would just give you uh, different uh, results for the signs on the square roots. Uh, but because we have 15 here, that means that uh, we don't have that, uh, that issue here. And we don't come up with any alternative solutions with just the brute force squaring everything method. Uh, which you would expect would happen uh, it, but it, if that was the case. But as you can see, the uh, square terms here just subtract out. So uh, we, we end up with a linear equation when we're done, and that means there's only one solution. Uh, and over here, we also have linear equations when we're, we're done with uh, things here. So there really is only one solution. Um, anyway, uh, I think uh, realistically, uh, there's not much more to say on this. Uh, I basically uh, just redone this one because I thought the explanation was a little less than clear last time around, and the uh, actual graphic on it was uh, a little less than ideal as well. Uh, and this puts it more in the style of the rest of these. So anyway. Uh, you know, this is inspired by a banner ad that came up, and it's quite accessible, really. There's not much to it. So, uh, really, um, you know, it looks scary with those square root signs, but it really isn't whether you brute force the, uh, the squares, like on this side, or you get clever over here. Um, this one, I think, is cleverer because you don't ever end up dealing with large, larger numbers like 11,025. And I think there's fewer chances to make an error here, but it does require uh, making the observation that uh, x plus 15 and x are squares and that they differ by 15 and knowing about factoring a difference of squares and things like that. Uh, this way here is actually perfectly reasonable, and it's probably the way I would expect to be used on a test or something like that, simply because it doesn't require any extra knowledge. Uh, it requires you knowing how to multiply out a uh, binomial, um, and squaring things, and doing basic algebra, and that's about it. Uh, this side requires just a little bit more information. Basically, you get to short circuit some steps there, and it just moves along. Uh, anyway, uh, if there's, uh, it, it, you know, if you run across something like this that you'd like me to work out, uh, go, leave a comment or otherwise get in touch with me. Uh, I'm always on the lookout for things like this that I can uh, do a quick video working it out. Uh, and of course I'll keep my eye out for more banner ads with this fancy stuff in it. But anyway, uh, I think that's all for, for now. Uh, if you like the video, leave a like. Uh, yeah, it gives me an idea that you liked it. 
go figure. Uh, if you want to be notified of future videos, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. Uh, if you uh, if you don't want to be notified, then of course you don't need to turn on notifications. You know, but you know, subscribing just makes it easier to find things near as I can tell. And if you watch this far, thanks for watching.